Over the years, the hospital industry has taken a major blow with factors like the pandemic, staffing shortages, and a rise in labor costs. According to data from the Mississippi Hospital Association, in 2019, hospital expenses exceeded $11 million per month, averaging about $132 million that year. Two years later, in 2021, the state had approximately $594 million in uncompensated care. Numbers revealing that while costs since 2019 have spiked to over 20 percent, the revenue did not. Trying to find a way for our hospitals to absorb that cost is becoming more and more difficult because the margins are getting smaller and smaller. According to state health officer Dr. Daniel Edney, 38 rural hospitals could possibly close. That's over half of the state's total rural hospitals. We're seeing a tremendous effect of this in the Mississippi Delta with uh, basically all the facilities in the Delta. And that's, that's not where it stops. Even in the capital city, hospitals like Merit Health Central and South Jackson discontinuing many of their services. The space once housing the state's only burn center closing their doors back in October. Leaders say there's been a major contributor to this conversation, and that's Medicaid. State lawmakers like Robert Johnson explain the growing insurance gap within Mississippi. That patient mix, that payer mix in those counties is made up of a disproportionate amount of people who are working people who are not covered by Medicaid or Medicare but still are being seen at a hospital that that hospital is not getting compensated for. The gap of unpaid services having a trickling effect for commercial payers. It, it makes it hard for us to let a company sell a policy to a consumer knowing that they can't get payout health care in the Delta and that's our major concern. That's how we get involved in health. And for some like Commissioner Cheney, leading to the major question on where things stand today. I'm not saying it would have been a panacea or a silver bullet to save all the hospitals, but it certainly would have helped them stay alive today. Mississippi is one of 12 states that has refused to expand Medicaid. And while some leaders agree Medicaid expansion could make a difference, there's also a fear that the relief can now only help to a certain degree. Our hospitals have gotten to an economic position now Medicaid expansion alone will not create the saving grace for all of our hospitals. So what happens next? The Mississippi Hospital Association has drafted several solutions. They include reducing or eliminating the hospital provider tax, creating low payment pools, or implementing a rural hospital access payment program. Because without certain measures in place, healthcare leaders and legislators warn of a scary future. It's a matter of life and death. That's what we're talking about. People being able to live or people being able, being able to survive an accident, people being able to get treated. Kara Peters, 16, WAPT News.